Hi David, welcome to New South Wales. It's great to have you here on the uh, UNSW solar roofs. Thank you, good to be with you. Tell me, you work in energy, you're the California Energy Commissioner. What does energy mean to you? Well, I think the energy industry today is the single most important industry in the world. Everything flows from that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a healthy uh, energy supply uh, or your energy uh, industry is not sustainable, you're going to face very serious challenges. I think now it's particularly important because the greatest challenge of our time is climate change and that is driven largely by the energy sector. Yeah, we often forget how important it is to both use energy efficiently but also increase the use from clean energy sources. And when we do the two combined, we're smarter with our energy use. That's exactly right. I think that is the first element of any smart national energy plan is energy efficiency and the increased productivity you can get from uh, being smart about how you use energy. There's a number of ways to address that. You know, one of them is just through setting standards on new construction. So any new building that get, gets built in California, we require we have the strictest energy efficiency codes uh, in the United States for that, for, for residential and for commercial. And then also for appliances. Uh, we don't let a television manufacturer, refrigerator manufacturer, computer manufacturer, we don't let them come in and sell products to our 40 million uh, citizens in the state of California unless those products meet our very strict energy efficiency standards. So California is the envy of the world when it comes to clean energy. What can we do in New South Wales to follow your lead? Well. I think one of the exciting things that we're seeing now in California is just how quickly the change to renewable energy is happening. Uh, if you go back to 2008, we were only at 12% renewable energy. Today we're over 25%. We just passed a new law to mandate that we get to 50% renewable energy by 2030. We now have more solar industry employees in the state of California than employees for all of our utilities combined. One of the things you're very fortunate to have uh, in Australia is an incredible uh, natural resource in the form of sunlight and wind. This is really one of the sunniest places in the world, the Saudi Arabia of sunlight, you could argue, and as well, a very entrepreneurial uh, society. We're seeing a huge uptake of solar. Households and businesses really understand now they can generate energy for free from the sun. Um, and in fact, in New South Wales, we've got 11% of households with solar on their roofs. Right. No, it's, it's tremendous. Actually, I think it's a million and a half rooftop solar energy systems in Australia. We're in the middle of an energy transition. Every day, things are changing. We know that 83% of households in New South Wales want more renewable energy. Yeah. I would argue also that, you know, you look ahead at where the world is headed, particularly yeah. after the Paris Climate Agreement. And it's very clear, you know, we're going to move off of fossil fuels this century. That's kind of the marching orders. In addition, I would argue that the other trend that goes along with increasing penetration of renewable energy is what I call the electrification of almost everything, where we're seeing now uh, in California, we have 200,000 electric vehicles on the road today. Our largest manufacturing operation today is an electric car factory, the Tesla factory. We're seeing electric yes. buses come online. We're seeing the electrification of homes, people getting off natural gas lines altogether. Globally, more renewables was installed last year than any other fuel source. And in fact, we're seeing the same trends here in New South Wales. So over the past five years, we've doubled our capacity of solar, wind and bioenergy. Yeah, so costs have come down enormously. Uh, when I first got into the solar industry myself uh, in 2000, it was about um, five dollars a watt to buy a panel. Today it's about 50 cents a watt, so it's a 90 percent reduction. And costs come down in three ways. There's innovation, automation and scale. All three of those things are happening. And storage. Everyone's talking about storage. You Tell me more about the mandate that you've implemented. So storage is the great facilitator of more renewable penetration. And I think the storage industry today is kind of where the solar industry was five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of innovation, uh, a lot of uh, new investment, new technologies. And I think we're going to see a very rapid growth of storage technologies. Obviously, the largest battery factory in the world is now being built in Nevada. It's a Tesla factory that's going to provide batteries both for their vehicles but also for homes and businesses that want energy storage on site. We've created a mandate for that as well 
requiring all the utilities to buy uh, 1.3 gigawatts of energy storage by 2020. So if you look ahead at the cost trends in energy storage, uh, they're headed downward. And that's part of uh, a very promising trend of what I'd call sort of the family of foundational technologies of the clean energy future, which include wind, solar, LEDs, um, battery costs, etc., all of which are headed downward in price very steeply. And that's good news for the planet and it's good news for consumers. So you said we are the uh, Saudi Arabia when it comes to sun. What does the future look like to you? I think the future is, um, is bright. I think we're going to see, as I said, a transition to a clean energy future predominantly powered by solar and wind. And uh, an emergence in those countries that get the policies right of a new innovation economy. You know, the solar roof behind us could be standard on every rooftop um, in the world yeah. in a few years. And that's what I think the opportunity is. And I think countries that uh, want to get ahead of the curve and be marketing their products and technologies around the world, um, the sooner they get going on making a domestic market really healthy, uh, the better off they'll be. David, thanks for coming to New South Wales. We really appreciate your time and expertise in teaching us on how we can become the California of Australia.